Hi boys and girls, welcome back. It's Miss Goldbach here. I'm excited today. I brought my acorn numbers with me. But something's wrong. They're not in order. We have to have our numbers in order to know which is the smallest and which is the largest. Numbers have an order to them. Do you know how to count all the way to 10? Let's try it together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All the way to ten. Do you remember what number did we say first? Which? That's right, number one. Do you see number one over here? Tell me when I get close to it. Was that it? Did you say that one? Okay, that's number one, you're right. I'm gonna put number one first up here on the left because we go from left to right, left to right, left to right when we counting. So let's count again. One, two, that's right, number two. Do you see number two here? Hmm. Yes, that's right, that's number two. If you said that, you're correct. So I, where should I put it? Down here? No, over here, that's right, thanks. One, two, what number would I put here? Hmm, three, that's right, number three. Do you remember three? Around the tree, around the tree. That's how I write number three. I know because I can stick my finger on this side. Make sure you get your numbers going in the right direction. Yeah. Number two, number three opens on this side. Yeah. One, two, three. What number would I put here? Yes, number four. What does four look like? Do you remember? <laughs> down and over, down some more. <gasps> oh, is this number four? Yes, number four goes beside three. One, two, three, four. Three comes before number four. What comes after four? What do we say next? Let's try again. One, two, three, four, five. That's right, five. Five is a great number. A lot of my friends turn five when they're in my classroom. Number five, down and around, put on a hat. I can write a five just like that. Do I put it here? No, that's right. Go back to the left, Miss Goldbach. One, two, three, four, back to the left. Left to the right, back to the left again. What's the next number? Five, six, yay! Six, hmm. Does six have a circle at the top or the bottom? <laughs> at the bottom, that's right. This is number six. Here, let me move these down a little bit. This is number six here. Do you see it? Circle at the bottom. Curve it around and a little bit back. Number six. That comes after five. What number comes next? <laughs> Let's start from the top and again. One, two, three, four, five, six, what number am I going to put here? <laughs> seven. Do you remember seven? Across the sky and down from heaven. Hmm. Is that number seven? Yes, it is. Across the sky and down from heaven. Can you write that in the sky? Cross and slide back again. Number seven. What comes after seven? Five, six, seven, 
Eight. Yeah, you did it. Eight. What does eight look like? Oh, here it is. Number eight. Make a S and close the gate. Make a S and close the gate. That's how we write number eight. Gate and eight are rhyming words, aren't they? I'm gonna put eight right here. Let's see, I have two numbers next to pick from. Which one would it be? What comes after eight? Nine, that's right, nine. There it is, number nine. Make a circle, then the line, number nine. Do I put it here? No, no, let's go back. Go back to the left, left to right, left to right, left. And the number next, the next number is nine, 10. It's our last number to put up with our acorns. Number 10. You counted all the way to 10. I'm so proud of you. Keep practicing those numbers so that you can count them backwards and forwards. Let's try one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's right. Good job. Keep working hard on those numbers. You can do it. And we can practice counting them next. You can pick a number and count. Maybe you can find some acorns in the yard and count three acorns for number three. That would be fun to do. Do you have acorns in your yard? Or at the park, maybe you could find some. Or if you don't have acorns, you can count cereal or fruit, berries. Have fun counting. See you again next time. Bye for now.